Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, we we are being real fussy today. So let me pick up my son so he can train with me. Come here. Oh, goodness gracious. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I am on a little early, but that is just how I roll with things. So as you guys hop on, say hello. And if you are watching the replay, hashtag replay. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is Real Life with Amber Ryan. <laughs> so, I will get started in about a minute. My dog is losing her mind. The baby's crying. We have a deep freezer being um, delivered, so hopefully they're not here yet. So, I apologize if they are, but I hope everyone's having a great morning. I am coming to you guys this morning to talk about doing it scared. Um, that is something that I hardcore live by. Um, hold on one second, guys. I'm so sorry. Make sure that they are not trying to deliver something. to go. I'm going to try to put him down. If he starts fussing again, then guess what? We are going to pick him up and we're going to roll with it because that's how we do things around here. So good morning, good morning. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hi guys. Sorry, I had to run and check the door. Okay, he's going to be picked up. Hey, you just want to train with your mommy this morning. All right, so hi everybody. My name is Amber Ryan. Um, I am Superstar Director of Feet to Faith outside of um, Wilmington, North Carolina in a town called Leland. If you guys know anything about that town, um, I have been doing Scentsy since April 2016 and Scentsy um, actually got me home last August. So August 2021, I was able to walk away from teaching and do Scentsy full time, but that is enough about me. Um, I wanted to come to you guys. Thank you, Misty, for having me. Um, really, really excited to talk about one of my very favorite things, and that is doing it scared in this business. Um, there is a lot of, there are a lot of things in this business that are absolutely terrifying. Um, when I first joined in April 2016, goodness gracious, baby. When I first joined in April 2016, I went to Cincy Family Reunion in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, I was a brand new baby uh, star consultant and our key note speaker was Mel Robbins. And if you know anything about Mel Robbins, if you've never listened to her, um, she lives by the saying of five, four, three, two, one, go. Um, and that's really something that I have lived by my entire time being a Cincy consultant. And um, it's just something that's really, really important. So doing it scared. So if you know anything about fear, um, we all do, right? We're all human. Fear is going to stop you right in your tracks and it is not gonna allow you to access the blessings in this business. Um, so the key, and the magic sauce in this business, other than consistency, is constantly doing things that are going to push you out of your comfort zone. Um, so, what I want you guys to do, those who are watching live, if you're watching the replay, comment as well. I want you to think about one thing or a couple of things in this business that absolutely terrify you. What are the scariest things in this business for you? And I want you to put them in the comments. You are never fussy, right? Whenever mommy's doing a training, huh? What is something that terrifies you in this business? Something that absolutely terrifies you in this business. So for me, when I first started, was going live. 
Going live is terrifying. Okay, so some stuff's coming through. Going live, asking for parties, party and join conversations. Okay, so for me, like I said, when I first started going live and doing something like this absolutely terrified me. Um, goodness gracious, Zane, we'll put you down and we'll go see what's gonna happen, okay? Mommy cannot focus with you. Okay, let's try this again, y'all. This is real life. This is how my life goes now. So y'all get the real authentic Amber, okay? Um, live trainings for others outside of my team, join conversations, going live, join conversations. Okay, so I want you to think about two. What would happen, what would happen if you did those things that scare you? What would happen and if instead of you being stuck in the tracks of saying, join conversations scare me, what would happen if you actually had the join conversations? What would happen if you going live instead of stopping you in your tracks and you said, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, let's do this. What would happen if you just did it anyways? What would happen if you did it scared? Okay, that's what we're gonna talk about. Hold on. Zane, honey. My goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so think about what it is that terrifies you and I want you to think about actually going for it and doing it, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about. So for me, when I was in college, um, I had to take a public speaking class. And public speaking absolutely, literally would paralyze me, okay? It would paralyze me. You're looking at me now and you're probably like, no way, Amber, there's no way that paralyzed you because you're sitting here talking with a baby and you're just doing the things. Y'all, this was not me six and a half years ago. I remember I took a summer course of public speaking at East Carolina University, and I was that person that literally right before I had to talk, I would, you know, I'd like look through the rows and be like, okay, it's about to be my turn. I would go to the bathroom so I wouldn't have to be the one next. I would have to talk myself out of panic attacks, literal panic attacks, because of how scared I was, okay? So what I had to teach myself is doing it scared and doing it in that moment when you don't want to do it is when you need to do it the most. Because if you sit and you ponder and you talk yourself out of it, you're never going to do that thing that scared you. You're never going to have those joint conversations. You're never going to have those party conversations. You're never going to go live if you sit there and you're like, well, what if? What are, what are these people going to think about me? Who cares what these people think about you? Who cares what they think about you, right? Um, your business is your business. And doing it scared is where you will see a lot of magic happen, okay? So, for me, <laughs> that is not funny. For me, like I said, I was terrified when I took a public speaking course in college. And, um, I remember that same Cincy family reunion in Nashville, Tennessee is when live first started happen, happening on Facebook, when lives were first a thing. And I did a breakout session teaching and training on going live. Was that absolutely terrifying for me? It was absolutely terrifying. Like I remember standing up there shaking with the mic in my hand. Um, it was absolutely terrifying for me, but it was something that I did to push myself out of my comfort zone I did it scared is not funny. You're pulling my hair, okay? So it's what you need to do to find success in this business. It's, it's jumping through the hoops and tackling your biggest fear and doing it anyways through the fear where you're going to see your business absolutely blossom, okay? So some examples of what might terrify you. I know some of you have already said it. So going live, going live on your personal page. That's really terrifying. I know some people, they're like, well, I go live on my VIP page. Do it on your personal page. You have no clue who's watching. No clue who's watching. So going live on your personal page. Going live smelling the, the 10 new scents that came out for the um, fall and winter catalog. Going live with any um, any LTO that is happening. Going live in your story. Going live is terrifying. 
right? Am I the only one who thinks it's terrifying? What's terrifying right now for me is the fact that I'm going live with you guys. I don't know personally hardly any of you guys. And I have a three month old that's pulling my hair. Who just pooped everywhere. <laughs> up to his neck. Okay. If I can do this, you can too. I do not have magic sauce in my system. I do not have any gold running through my veins. This is real life. Okay. So tackling that obstacle of how terrifying it is okay it was terrifying for me to try to figure out how to work my business with a new newborn you just want to see everybody don't you terrifying okay so what else might be that monster of being terrified okay personally texting people instead of just relying on social media Personally texting people, that might be your kryptonite. That might be like, okay, I can't do it. Do it anyways. That's where you're going to see success in this business. Being told no. Being told no. How many people are terrified of being rejected? How many people are terrified of being rejected? That is absolutely normal. And it is, you're not human if you're not not terrified of being rejected, okay? Say, you're not allowing your mommy to talk. Sorry, guys. This is, this, is, this is real life, okay? So being told no is really scary, okay? But doing it anyways, because guess what? I've been in this business since April 2016, and I still get told no. I still get ignored, and it's, it makes the yeses that much sweeter. So asking people, do you want free Sensi? Hey, do you know that there's a $22 joint special right now? Okay. So thinking about that thing, that thing that scares you is where you need to push yourself even harder to, um, to, to do it. Okay. Um, so this is a people business. It's built on relationships and relationships are scary. Relationships are rough and we are our biggest critic. Okay. We are our biggest critic, and we are going to talk ourselves out of this, that, and the other all the time. All the time. We are going to talk ourselves out of doing something that's scary because it, does not, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to possibly be rejected. It doesn't feel good for people to, in our heads, possibly judge us. Okay? But what I want you to know is it doesn't matter. They're not running your Sensi business. They're not paying your bills, okay? Do it anyways, and that's where the magic happens. So being you, being authentic, being brave, that's where the magic comes. Are you hungry? That's, that's probably the issue, okay? So what I want to talk about now is a huge challenge that I'm going to challenge each of you, okay? So I've talked about... How doing it scared is the end all be all and is the thing that you need to do to make your business sane. <laughs> to make your business absolutely flourish. So I have a graphic that I'm going to be sharing with you guys that goes along with this $22 join special that we have going on right now. We always have a join special. We always have the $59 join special, right? The host to join kit. So I'm gonna share this with you guys. And I really apologize for him being so fussy. This is really usually how he's not ever. So this is, I'm gonna share it with you guys, okay? So, we have a $22 join special. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? And what you're going to do, I created this a few months ago. I think it was like January. I want you to think about your best customers in your Scentsy Clubbers. And I want you to write their name down underneath each bar. As you reach out to them, I want you to cross their name off the list. <laughs> what I want you guys to do, I am so sorry. You need to stop crying. What I want you guys to do is do it scared, okay? I want you to personally reach out and text these people. And I want you to say, hey, I want you to be authentic, okay? Hey, girl. For me, I say, hey, boo. I say, boo, all the time. Hey, boo. 
I was just thinking about how much you spent the last couple months with Cincy. We have a $22 join special right now. Send a picture. Okay? Okay? That's what I want you to do. <laughs> That's what I want you to do. I want you to do it with 10 people. 10 people. Do it scared. See what happens. Shock yourselves. You will be amazed at what happens whenever you do it scared. Okay? I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm going to get him a bottle. I am sorry. Love you guys. Hope this was helpful. Bye.